thank you very much. <coughs> I want to welcome everybody to the 35th uh, annual Public School Week Awards. Um, I think that's worth an applause right there. It's Thirty-five years ago, uh, when this started, one of our board members at that time, school board members Joyce Itatani, um, said that uh, this was an important event, that uh, people who perform service should be recognized. Then a few years passed by and we had uh, budget issues, as school districts often do, and Joyce then said, I don't want this to die, I don't want this to be cut. And so she set up a trust that would fund this evening, this awards bank, that, uh, uh, a ceremony that uh, would live on after. Wanted to ensure that service continued to be recognized in this district. I think that is so emblemat emblematic of what the, what the community in Santa Clara is about. So. Um, it's quite an honor to be able to continue to preside over something that was so thoughtfully um, originated many years ago. So now I'd like to invite to the stage um, Rafael Tolosa, who is the uh, Public School Week Awards winner tonight and also the ASB president of Wilcox High School. And I just found out, because it's my alma mater, so I'm going to brag about him a little bit, recent acceptee into the University of California, Berkeley. So sorry all you Stanford guys, but go Bears. Okay, <laughs> gotta do it. And at the same time, I would like to ask the Wilcox Choir to come out at the same time and, and uh, be with us as we do both the <coughs> Pledge of Allegiance and for the singing of our national anthem. So first, if I could get all of you to stand and face the flag and then remain standing through the singing of our national anthem. Raphael will now lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Ready, salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you so much, Wilcox Choir. Absolutely beautiful. I was thinking about what to say about this concept of service, and I was reminded about the close of the Constitutional Convention in 1787. And, uh, Benjamin Franklin, one of our famous founders, was walking out of the convention hall after the convention was over and he was greeted by Dr. James Henry, one of Maryland's delegates to the convention. And a lady asked Dr. Franklin, well, well, doctor, what have we got? 
a republic or a monarchy? And the very famous line in response was, a republic, if you can keep it. Well, arguably, our country was founded by volunteers, by people who gave service. And it's never been more important in my opinion and in my experience as an educator that that sense of service and that commitment to our community is emphasized, celebrated, and recognized for the importance that it is. You know, we, we live in a community right now, and I don't mean to be a downer about this, but we've had so many um, uh, fears expressed around, at schools around the country. Um, students being afraid of walking into schools that, that you know, somebody would come in and shoot. Um, people who are afraid uh, to go to school um, for different reasons, not for that reason. And through it all, you see this winning sense of service and of commitment to citizenship and to serving our community. That's really what's on the line here. That's what, when, our, when we serve, we're making our community not only a better place, but a continued livable place, a place that people want to be around. And our students and our adults who are being honored here tonight, they exemplify that, that commitment, that sense of, uh, of, uh, of community, that, that sense of belonging in a community, of looking outside yourself and seeing something bigger than yourself as and a whole. I often tell our kids, that we don't have any person to waste. We can't afford to waste the talents of any one individual. They're all so important. And so I, I tell our students, you know, not to keep their talents hidden away, but to use them to take the talents that they were given by their parents and grandparents and, and uh, others around them and put them to good use in the community. And then that that commitment to community will come back so many times over in things that they learn that really help their own growth. So we're here to honor people tonight and to acknowledge the good work that they do. Um, I want to start with acknowledging the people who organize this event. I always acknowledge them at the end and I don't want to do that tonight. Partly because one of them may go out and have a baby before the night's over, and I can't. <laughs> I'm not very good at dealing with stuff like that. So, so, Jen Dorico, where are you? Come over. Come out here. I want to acknowledge you. She promised to wait until after this was over, but I, I don't know. And then Philippa May, where are you, Philippa? Right there. just for organizing all this. And I think you have my thing. I'm gonna give the, thank you. I couldn't do this without them. I, okay. And Jen is reminding me, don't forget to tell them about the rules. And also, don't forget to acknowledge all the people who make this possible on a regular basis. I wanna start with our wonderful board of trustees. Um, our President Nolani couldn't make it tonight, Nolani Pearl Hunt, but our Vice President, Michelle Ryan, stepped into the breach and is ready to fill in. <laughs> Dr. Ryan's been a, a, a tremendous support as a board member. I want to also acknowledge uh, long-serving board member Jim Canova, I think over 25 years, sir. Um, <laughs> Andy Ratterman, also long-serving board member. <laughs> and usually a streak all over the community doing good works, as, as is uh, uh, the next board member, uh, the next board members I want to introduce. Uh, Albert Gonzalez. <laughs> Our 
board clerk, Jody Muirhead. And, not, and last but definitely not least, our board member who keeps us on our toes a lot, uh, in some ways we'd rather not be kept on our toes, uh, but he's well now and we're glad for that, and that's Mark Richardson. <laughs> and also, thanks to Wilcox School for hosting, thanks to our beautiful choir um, and uh, our Cal grad who led the pledge. Um, to the Wilcox High School Band for playing the entry music, which was just beautiful. Uh, the PTA volunteers for who are helping out tonight. You'll see them on the sides and around. Um, our school principals and our staff members, principals who run 100 miles an hour to get a million things done every day, uh, making decisions on the fly. Um, none of this could happen without all of their support. So all together for all of them, if we could give one last round of applause. So with that said, if we could start by getting Bowers, Rocker, Brawley, and Briarwood to line up. First, Bowers with uh, Principal Lisa Blanc. Right there. Um, I'd like to first welcome up to the stage, Agatha Vu. Okay. Note where Agatha is standing, that's where everybody will be standing. Agatha is an outstanding example of a Bowers megastar. She excels at playing the cello. She collaborates with peers on science fair projects, improving the school garden, as a student council representative, as an actor in the school musical, and is one of the most reliable members of the safety patrol. Agatha also volunteers as a big buddy at the lunchtime reading club program, tutoring um, a little buddy weekly. She is kind and compassionate to everyone in the school community and can usually be found helping others in need. Agatha accomplishes all of this in a quiet and humble way, never expecting attention for all the wonderful ways she makes the school community better. Congratulations. <laughs> Next up is Jacob Brown. <laughs> Jacob is a wonderful, helpful, and very well-liked student who goes out of his way for others. He has served on both the student council as in an, and is an integral part of the safety patrol team. Jacob has great thoughtfulness towards others, on the playground, he initiated the idea for creating a buddy bench to encourage students to reach out to students who may need a friend. Jacob also spent time picking pine cones for each student in the class so that they were able to engage in an art project. Thank you, Jacob, for making Bowers a better class. <laughs> and next up, adult Joan Hughes. Joan is a part of the fabric of Bowers School. Known as Aunt Joan, she is always available to help on a moment's notice. She volunteers on field trips, volunteers to substitute for noon duty supervision, helps with picture day and classroom projects, and is always willing to help manage a safety patrol team, even in the rain. Joan loves the Bowers community and helps whenever asked. A giant smile on her, with a giant smile on her face and words of encouragement to all, of the students. Thank you, Joan, for all you do for that. <laughs> Next school up is Bracker, and first student, Noah Flynn. <laughs> Noah is a natural born leader. He is very conscientious and hardworking. Noah is kind, sympathetic, intelligent, honorable, and, and honorable demeanor, 
and all make him an outstanding student and individual. In addition, NOAA is an integral part of Brocker's first school safety patrol unit this year and has done a great job fulfilling that role. There is no doubt that NOAA will continue to be a successful student and community member. We're proud of NOAA and we can't wait to see how he blossoms and transforms the community in years ahead. Congratulations, NOAA. Next up is Luz Elena Samane. Luz is a very caring student who tries her best at everything she does. She's a great role model for her peers and shows perseverance through all tasks. Luz is willing to help anyone who is in need. She stepped forward this year to be part of Bracker's Safety Patrol Unit. Bracker staff is very proud of Luz and believes that she will go on to accomplish many amazing and creative things down the road in her future endeavors. There is no doubt that Luz will continue to have a positive impact both in and outside of school. Congratulations. Luz. And our adult uh, awardee, uh, Joe Link. Zink. Zink. I was thinking of you linking the kids together, thank you. <laughs> Mr. Zink is always available to help at Brocker, whether it be in the classroom helping teachers and students, teaching students basic computer coding skills, or setting up parent-teacher association events. Mr. Zink has also taken time to construct items to be used at these events and is always willing to volunteer his time to see that the events are a success for the entire Brocker community. Congratulations, Mr. Zink. Okay, the next school, school up is Brawley, and I hope the schools that are sort of behind them are recognizing them to get in line if they're needed. First up for Brawley is Belen Leray. Since kindergarten, Belen has been an active member of the Brawley community. She has served as, as an SAI buddy for schoolmates in Brawley's autistic program, has served as a student council officer for the past two years, and is currently the Brawley student council president. Belen thrives on taking leadership roles and sets a positive example for all her peers. She exemplifies what it means to be a Brawley eagle. And I, I do want to congratulate first congratulations <laughs> congratulations Go ahead. I, I I am sorry I forgot to acknowledge Catherine Graham uh, for Ryan and also uh, Wayne Leach principal at Brocker a minute ago so I apologize and thank you for being here um, the next one for Raleigh the next student up is Aditya Mati Aditya has contributed to the Brawley School community since kindergarten. He has served as student council representative, flag monitor, math Olympian, and SAI buddy for schoolmates in Brawley's autism program. He leads by example with his positive attitude and his cheerful demeanor. He epitomizes the Brawley agreements for being safe, kind, and responsible. Congratulations, Aditya. An adult awardee, Marissa Luray. <laughs> Marissa is an indispensable parent at Brawley. She is the head of the Project Cornerstone at school, leading and supporting all the Project Cornerstone parent volunteers. The program thrives because of her dedication. In addition, Marissa volunteers her time as a noon duty supervisor, ensuring the physical and emotional safety of all students. And she is a parent who is always willing to help teachers and staff. The Brawley community is extremely fortunate to have her. Congratulations. Thank you. 
And next up uh, is Briarwood School with Susan Jessup Principal. And our first student awardee is Mark Bulo. Mark is one of the kindest people you will ever meet. He cares about his peers, his classroom, his school, and his community. He is always there to lend a helping hand to a fellow student, a teacher, or the principal. And if you need a smile, he'll provide that too. Let me see. Go ahead. <laughs> smile. Thank you. That's good. Mark is a safety patrol lieutenant and practices the Project Cornerstone philosophy, committing to helping others feel valued and respected. Mark is a wonderful young man. Congratulations, Mark. And thank you for the smile. <laughs> Next student up is Amaya Orozco. Amaya brings her fantastic sportsmanship, strong effort, and determination from the soccer field to the classroom. She is an outstanding safety patrol officer and citizen of the Briarwood community. Amaya consistently displays kindness, collaboration, and leadership wherever she goes. She's truly a shining star. Congratulations. <laughs> and adult awardee, Erica Volker. <laughs> Erica has been the heart and soul of the Briarwood PTA for the past 10 years. In addition to the great work she has done in that organization, she works in the classroom, chaperones field trips, assists the, the amazing safety patrol to keep students safe, and is at every after-school event, making all feel welcome and ensuring everything is running smoothly so students have a wonderful time. Erica, thank you for your time, for your influence, for your sense of humor, and for making Briarwood a wonderful place to learn and work. Okay, you're doing really well on the lines over there. I just want to tell you. Central Park is up next with Principal, <laughs> Principal Mikey Kamstra, and our first awardee is student Alisa Lee. <laughs> Yee. Alisa is an engaged student leader. With her love of projects and collaboration, she initiated and led lunchtime games for third and fourth graders with a common goal spread more love for playing. Alyssa actively participates in student leadership planning events and activities for the school and the classroom to develop a more connected community. She reaches out to struggling students. She is the first to offer assistance in any way possible, whether that be as a tech expert, class librarian, or conflict resolution person. Alyssa understands that we all have gifts and opportunities to improve the world around us and she humbly takes action to, approve, to improve her surroundings. Congratulations, Alyssa. <laughs> Next up is Caleb Brickman. <laughs> Caleb sets an example of unselfish and socially aware participation. He perseveres to demonstrate quality work and makes himself available to help peers, finds ways to innovate the creative learning space, and fosters a positive environment for everyone, students, adults, and especially class pets. <laughs> when a student is having a rough day, Caleb steps up to ask how they're doing and if he can help. He compliments others in meaningful ways. He understands the importance of feeling included if, and welcoming everyone. He celebrates the uniqueness in others and respects classmates as the individuals they are. Congratulations, Kate. <laughs> An adult awardee, awardee Daisha Estes. <laughs> Daisha is an inspiring volunteer and has been a huge instrumental force in establishing and guiding the founding PTA board in building a strong PTA infrastructure. She is active in both in and outside of the classrooms. 
She assists with classroom activities such as cooking, passion projects, working with students. Teachers state she is flexible and generous with her time. She helps in my classroom every week. She knows what needs to be done and takes care of it. She helps with recess, sits with kids, and brings such a calm presence at lunchtime. She is the epitome of professionalism and integrity, and we cannot thank her enough for her service. Next up is Heyman School and Principal Kim Wakefield. And the first student awardee is Treat Nguyen. <laughs> Treat joined the Heyman community from Vietnam only three years ago, but he has had extreme dedication not only to learn the English language, but also the tough curriculum without ever giving up he is involved in safety patrol this year and flag honor guard last year. When you walk onto the campus in the morning, you will be greeted by him, even if he is not actually working safety patrol shift. He enjoys helping others and being a citizen of Haman. Treat has worked hard not only to meet the standards of each grade, but surpassing his teacher's expectations. When you give him a challenge, he rises to the occasion. He can be successful in anything he sets his mind to. So congratulations, especially to him. Our next student awardee is Jocelyn Luna Rodriguez. Jocelyn is a dedicated student who has an amazing drive to succeed in the classroom, Jocelyn works hard, always putting in her best effort and looking for opportunities to help others. Jocelyn is an integral part of class discussions and works hard to gain a deeper understanding of the topics that are being taught. She volunteers her time as a member of the safety patrol and as a conflict manager. She, as she continues on from Heyman, she is sure to be successful in both her academics and as well in life. We thank Jocelyn for being a role model for other students and the community. Congratulations. <laughs> and our adult awardee, Janiel Sprite. <laughs> Janiel is known for bringing people together. She is dedicated, passionate, and caring. Six years ago, she saved the Heyman PTA from a devastating year. She was determined to help form a solid PTA board and build up parent and teacher volunteerism. She took the time to carefully craft ideas and work with parents, teachers, and the principal to make PTA events meaningful. She has dedicated countless hours to the school and its students and has been an integral part of Heyman's PTA success. Janiel's ability to bring people together has increased communication and brought purpose to Heyman. The Heyman staff will forever be grateful to Janiel, and we thank her for her dedication. Thank you so much. <laughs> Next up is Hughes School with Principal Terry Moore. Okay. Okay. Hmm? Okay. So we do have student, uh, hmm? the parent, I'm sorry, Lena Denny. All right. Can you tell this is not rehearsed? We do this live. So is Andrew Nguyen here? Okay. Andrew. Andrew, stand right there and look out at the crowd. Okay? Yes. Very good. Okay. Now, I'm going to read about you. Andrew has been a successful, has been a model student, and has ridden, risen above his own diversity to shine at Hughes Elementary School. He's willing to help other students 
and helps in the office every day. He goes over and above for everyone and works very hard. Congratulations, Andrew. And is Lena Denny here? Okay. I'm sorry, I thought you were a kid down there. That's how. I look very young. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you was a student, sorry. You can really count on Lena. She is always around and doing whatever needs to be done. She is part of the PTA, School Site Council, and the English Learner Advisory Committee. She goes over and above, even though she works full time, too. She is always there when Hughes needs extra help. Hughes says they are blessed to have such a superstar on their campus. So congratulations, Lena. Okay, next up is, Laure is Laurel Wood and Principal Lori Rogers. Our first student awardee is Todd Bedell. Todd is a wonderful fifth grade student who has been at Laurelwood Elementary School since kindergarten. He is a great community member who makes friends wherever he goes and makes people feel welcome. Todd will do whatever he can to help the Laurelwood community. He has been on safety patrol, green team, student council, and even helps with an after school art class. If he is walking around the school, it is probably because he's helping a teacher or a club with something. We're very excited to honor him as this year's recipient. Congratulations, Todd. Next up, is, next up is student Mika Smith. Mika is a lovely fifth grade student with, and a wonderful performer, showing off her acting skills as a cast member the past three years in The Nutcracker. Mika also is an accomplished dancer, having been an active participant for the last three years in the early Multicultural Day festivities. She is the student that is always ready and willing to help whenever it is to cover a shift or a safety patrol or attending meetings for student council and green team, or even just assisting anyone in need around the campus. We are delighted to honor her as this year's recipient. Congratulations. And our adult awardee is Rosha Buhot. Rasha, huh? thank you. Rasha is an extraordinary parent volunteer. She is a quiet, persuasive leader who gets things done. In her six years as a volunteer, she served as school site council chairperson on the English Learner Advisory Committee and on PTA board. She has coordinated PTA annual events and recently co-chaired the fifth grade Colonial Day. She is kind to all, seeks to serve in a manner that best supports students, and has the respect and affection of staff, students, and other parents. Don't worry, you'll see her around as the new president of the District English Learner Advisory Committee. Thank you, Rashna, for all you've done for her. And next up is Main School with teacher Scott Corbin, or Corbin Scott rather, for Socorro Olmos. And our first student awardee is Jose Alvarez. <laughs> it is rare to meet a young man like Jose. He is a hard worker who always puts forth his best academic effort. What impressed me even more was his leadership skills. He used his free time in and out of class to help others experiencing problems with homework. He has helped others after school hours. Other students have called him at home to help with their homework. Jose also spent time helping staff keep the school clean and orderly. Jose is caring, respectful to everyone, and willing to help everyone. He is more than deserving of this award. Congratulations, Jose. And our next student awardee, Ariana Morte. Thank you. 
Ariana is simply a role model to all to follow. Uh, and she exemplifies hard work, dedication, and a sincere desire to, to succeed. After failing to be selected for the student council while giving a fantastic speech the previous year, Ariana won the fifth grade student council president this year with an even more moving speech. Not for fame or notoriety, her goal to become the president is to make her school better for the students who come after her. As student president, she assumes her leadership position admirably, listens, respects, and shows kindness to suggestions and takes ownership of all of her responsibilities. Congratulations, Emily. And adult awardee, Jennifer Fuentes. Jennifer is simply put, amazing. When you see her around campus, she will be smiling, ready with a greeting for all children and adults, and ready to lend a hand. As PTA president, she is busy organizing book fairs, fundraisers, and other events. Student success and well-being is always her focus. Jennifer can be seen helping children at recess and then volunteering in various classrooms supporting students with literacy and math. Jennifer is not one to wait. When she sees a need, she comes up with suggestions. She is also so great, a great support in the office or, or wherever she is needed. Jen and her smile are everywhere. Play yard, cafeteria, classrooms, the PK office, or PK, and child care, and I guess right now, here. Yeah. Congratulations, Jennifer. <laughs> Next up is Millican School and uh, Lorenzo Cinco for Bob Moss. So the first student awardee is Ethan Ha. <laughs> Ethan is a student who clearly demonstrates all the wonderful character traits that make up a fine young gentleman. With his cheerful, caring, nurturing disposition, he attends to his fellow students and adult figures with genuine um, positive attitude. Whether he is involved in after-school sports, coding program, or math olympiad, he confidently collaborates with team members or takes any leadership position to help accomplish any task. Congratulations, Ethan. The next student up is Anika Butani. Anika is a great role model to her peers with her detailed academic work. She is also a good example to primary students as a rainy day helper. She is an active participant in all aspects of school life, playing on both flag football and volleyball teams, singing in the choir, and playing in the band as well as, well as being active in Girl Scouts. She is on the Math Olympiad team, is a reliable member of the safety patrol, and was vice president of the student council for the first semester. You're making me tired. Anyway, congratulations. Anita. And our adult awardee, Sailaja Gutala. Sailaja has truly been a valuable resource for Millican over the years. She has been PTA president and has served on PTA board for almost her entire tenure at Millican. She also runs the school yearbook and supports almost every single event in, at Millican in one way or another. We will miss her as her daughter leaves us this year for sixth grade. We'll have a hard time filling her shoes. Congratulations. <laughs> Next up is Montague School and teacher Lauren LaRocca for Ramos Harari. And our first student awardee is Andrew Trafis. <laughs> Students constantly look to Andrew. He is the vice president of the student council where he has offered his ideas and made sure that events are well organized. In the morning you might catch him in the crosswalk or opening doors in the parking lot. His smile is contagious, and he brightens everyone's morning when he greets them. He is a positive role model for all Montague students. After school, 
Andrew is a member of the, y of the YMCA, a baseball player, and he does martial arts. Talk about a busy kid. Montague will definitely miss Andrew next year, but he has a bright future in leadership ahead of him. Congratulations, Andrew. Next up is Ailani Vasquez. Ailani is a great role model for all students. She demonstrates uh, the three B's of Montague, no matter what activity she is doing. Before school, she is a member of the school's safety patrol program. She is always on time, and her fellow classmates can count on her to know what to do. Ailani is always willing to help out anyone in need. Her, her teachers can always count on her to help out and model for others what they should be doing. Montague could not think of a more deserving student to receive this award. Ailani, keep up the great work. Congratulations. <laughs> An adult awardee, Cassie Coverley. It takes a village to raise a child is the, pro is the popular proverb. No one takes that statement more to heart than Cassie. Cassie is an asset to the whole school. Her active involvement in the classroom, picture day, vision testing, or wherever a volunteer is needed is appreciated. She's always there. She interacts well with the children and enjoys engaging with them during small group activities. She is supportive, flexible, and communicates well and follows policies making her a highly valued volunteer. Cassie is a super mom of four beautiful girls, yet she has the time to help in classrooms, fix equipment, participate in fundraisers, or even getting the morning food for one of the preschool programs. Thank you, Cassie, for being so wonderful. <laughs> Next up is Pomeroy, Principal Angela Data. And the first awardee is Rosalind Campos. It is great, with great enthusiasm, that we award Rosalind for her service to the Pomeroy community. Rosalind is the student council president. She has led many activities and fundraisers that help the school and community. The annual food drive, candy, can candy gram sales, and the pennies for patients campaign are just a few of the many things she has done so far this year. We appreciate Rosalind's hard work and dedication to Pomeroy. Congratulations, Rosalind. <laughs> Next awardee is Gabriel Chavez. <laughs> we are excited to award Gabriel for his dedication to Pomeroy. As Pomeroy's Student Council Vice President, he has done many things. Gabriel helped launch the annual food drive. He, he encouraged students to donate food to the needy. He also helped lead the school's Pennies for Patients campaign which raised uh, in Pomeroy, which raised over $2,000 to help cancer research and cancer patients. Gabriel's dedication to Pomeroy and his community is amazing. Congratulations. <laughs> An adult awardee, Amy Pladek. It is with, with pleasure that we award Amy for, for her outstanding service to Pomeroy Elementary School. She is the PTA fundraising coordinator, has been phenomenal at raising money for the students at Pomeroy. She is always happy to sh chaperone field trips, help out the office staff, and coordinate special events. Amy graciously gives her time and volunteers to, um, to help out to volunteer wherever needed. We are so grateful. She is a proud Pomeroy parent. Congratulations. <laughs> Next up is Pomeroy, or excuse me, I said Pomeroy already. Ponderosa School with Alyssa Meltzer's uh, principal. And our first, our first student award is Shrusti Shri Walker. Trishti makes caring for her school community look flawlessly easy. Although it's no simple task, contributing countless hours as a student council class representative for two semesters, 
newspaper club writer and editor, musician in the school orchestra, flag monitor, cafeteria lunch helper, and overall exemplary student of the Ponderosa behaviors of respectfulness, responsibility, and safety. Her determination, dedication, and genuine smile will be dearly missed by the teachers and peers after this year, although her middle school will be gaining a true leader. Congratulations, Trusty. Our next student awardee is Tristan Kipps. An energetic and hardworking student, Tristan approaches all activities at Ponderosa with an infectious enthusiasm. Whether as a student council officer, a leader in a running club, a big buddy, or a guitarist in the advanced band, Tristan's natural positivity and leadership qualities bring out the best in those around him. He not only strives to follow the school-wide behavior traits, he recognizes and encourages and supports the positive behaviors in his peers. In society, the need for the virtue of kindness is finally being valued. Tristan brings that crucial quality in unbounded amounts to Ponderosa. He is a true superstar. Congratulations. <laughs> and our adult awardee, Peely Hazelton. <laughs> For the past 15 years, Peely has been providing the highest possible level of service to Ponderosa. Peely has put her heart and soul into the school as PTA, PTSA president, PEPCO co-chair, rummage sale coordinator, walkathon co-chair, book fair coordinator, room parent, and so much more. Peely is one of those parents who can be counted on to take on and implement any work asked of her. She is proactive, reliable, respectful, and kind. Her presence on campus has helped to shape the school's culture, and she will be greatly missed when she graduates from Ponderosa in June. You are the definition of superstar, Peely. Thank you. Next up is Scott Lane School with Priscilla Reza, principal. And our first student awardee is Yareli Guerrero. Yareli embodies the school values. Yareli is very responsible. Every day she comes to school prepared, ready to learn. She is a member of the school safety patrol. In collaboration with other safety patrollers, she maintains traffic flowing and keeps the parking lots safe for all. When faced with challenges, Yareli does not give up. She perseveres and overcomes obstacles. As a result, she continues to achieve academically and socially, and she does all of this with great enthusiasm. Congratulations, Yareli. Our next student awardee is Christopher Rivera. Christopher is a fifth grade student at Scott Lane. He makes Scott Lane a better place. He is a member of the Junior Coach Playworks program. He helps on the playground by organizing games and ensuring all students are playing fair and living by the school values. He is always willing to help. Despite not being in student council, he regularly helps student council advisors by helping advertise events and organize activities. Chris is such a wonderful person. His enthusiasm is infectious. Congratulations, Chris. And our adult awardee, Nadine Taylor. When Nadine's granddaughter started kindergarten in August, Nadine also started volunteering in the classroom. She brings boundless enthusiasm, energy, and support to the kindergarten students on a daily basis. Her friendly smile, consistency, and ethic have benefited the students in their academic and social growth. Students who are struggling to learn their letters, need help with math, or just someone to sit beside them to encourage them to finish their work can count on Ms. Taylor. Her joy and dedication to the kindergarten students is, a, is delightful, and Scott Lane is fortunate to have her. 
you brought fans. You brought fans. <laughs> Congratulations. Okay. Our next school is Sutter and Principal Michael Fong. And our first student awardee is Lauren Brown. Like past Sutter Award winners, Lauren is the real definition of an outstanding volunteer in her school community. Here are some examples. She can be found volunteering all around the campus throughout the day. You can find her doing safety patrol in the morning, assisting in taking out the ball carts during the day, taking down the flag in the afternoon, helping out in the garden, participating in student council, and much more. In addition, she is an excellent positive role model to her classmates. Congratulations, Lauren. Our next student awardee is Andrew Littlefield. Andy is always volunteering his time to make Sutter a better place. You can find Andy doing many activities, helping the school community. Here are some examples. In the morning, you can find Andy setting up the ball carts, setting up the border cones on the grass, hanging up the flag, doing safety patrol, and keeping the school safe. He is participating in student council and giving input on how to make the campus better, helping students on the playground, and being a positive role model to all. Without a doubt, Andy symbolizes what a volunteer is. Congratulations. <laughs> An adult awardee, Helena sedlaski -Kova. When you look at the Sutter Dictionary for the definition of volunteer, Helena's picture would be there with this description. One, a person who voluntarily offers herself for service or undertaking. Two, a person who performs service willingly and without pay. Two, excuse me, you can, office, you can often see her on campus every day helping teachers run off copies, decorating classroom doors and walls, helping with grade level and graduation shows, fundraising for the school, teaching art in action, and always have a smile on her face. Without a doubt, her presence and participation makes Sutter a better place with her in it. Congratulations. Thank you. Our next school as Washington Open and Principal Barbara Berman. And our first student awardee, I uh, hope is here, uh, Ismail Siddiqui. Ismail is nothing less than a star student in fifth grade. Ismail has served in different community service groups and been described by past teachers as mindful, kind, helpful, calm, humorous, happy, encouraging, supportive, and the perfect teaching assistant. Ismail tries new things despite the fact that he may have little experience, like theater. He also seems to have an amazing mind, which is quick to solve a math problem, comprehend a reading problem, or reason a solution to a social problem. Ismail is such a strong model for excellence. Congratulations, Ismail. Our next student awardee is April Mestas. April definitely embodies a growth mindset attitude. She is a hardworking student, asks clarifying questions, seeks out mentorships in order to improve her work, and offers to help others. April is respectful and shows appreciation to the parent volunteers in class. Over the last two years, April has worked as a member of Safety Patrol, Student Council, and a student leader on the playground to help other students mediate conflicts. April also joined the football team and has been in the school play for the past five years. April is a fabulous student and a fantastic human being. Congratulations. <laughs> An adult awardee, Ann Kepner.
Anne is one of those people you feel so fortunate to have in your life. She is an amazing person who is not afraid to step up and do whatever there is to do. Anne has been pres parent board president for the past two years. Before that, she was the ways and means person on the board. Anne currently, uh, is currently a book club parent, driver on field trips, volunteers throughout the school, and has led the school landscaping project. She has put time and effort into making Washington open a better place each and every day. Congratulations, Anne. Next school up is Westwood and Principal Corey Gaffari. And our first uh, student awardee is Lucy Johnson. Lucy has been a standout student throughout all her years at Westwood. She exemplifies service to the school by being on the student council, holding an officer position with the school safety patrol, and as a helper to lower grade students. She is a class model for hard work and dedication. This year, she was chosen to represent Westwood at both the Young Writers Expo and the STEAM Expo. Through her daily efforts, she shows exactly what it means to be a lifelong learner, and we expect to hear great things about her coming in her future. Congratulations. Lisa. And not to be out Lucy'd, our next student is Lucy Nunn. I'm kind of getting the rule here now. <laughs> Lucy is an exceptional student. She is a tremendous role model, shown in her hard work and determination to be successful. She is an outstanding leader at Westwood as a member of student council, an officer on the safety patrol, a preschool and first grade helper, and a member of the volleyball team. Lucy is an outstanding student in all academic areas. She was chosen this year to attend both the district's Young Writers Expo and the STEAM Expo with her coding app. Lucy goes above and beyond what is expected and enjoys taking on a challenge. Congratulations, Lucy. <laughs> and our adult awardee, Stacia Sarna. <laughs> Stacia has been a parent volunteer for many years at Westwood. She has been on the PTA board for programs and membership. There isn't a time that the doors are open to the school that Stacia can't be seen helping out. She fills in when no others can be found, hauling recycling, cleaning up, and making copies. She is the patron for the arts and the certified glitter expert. In her passion for building community, she has taken on leading Westwood's Project Cornerstone, matching caring, compassionate adults with classrooms and arming them with stories about empathy and kindness to share. Congratulations, Stacia. Next up is Don Kalajan School, Aaron Schomburg, uh, Vice Principal. And our first student awardee is Jay Singh. Jay is a wonderfully involved student participating in many sports and school activities which allow him to work with a large and varying group of students within the middle school. He also works with the younger students when possible through leadership volunteer programs. Many of these youngsters recognize Jay in the mornings and brunch and are excited to see him creating wonderful connections between elementary and middle schools. Congratulations, Jay. And our next student awardee is Brianna Kendall. Brianna is a young woman with a delightful spirit who tries to brighten the day of all those around her. She is also connected to many different grades and programs through the volleyball and leadership programs, as well as being recognizable on all the announcements. The connections made between the lower and upper grades is truly what makes a K-8 school special and stand out from the rest. And Brianna embraces every opportunity to be a positive influence on the younger and the older students. Congratulations, Brianna. And our adult awardee is Seiko Fuji. <laughs> Seiko, 
Seiko stepped up to lead the fifth grade safety patrol students even after her child was no longer in the fifth grade. She takes the responsibility very seriously and views the safety patrol job as a learning opportunity for students. She truly helps the young students take pride in contributing to the wider community and teaches them to value what they do. The lessons learned are lifelong and Ms. Fuji has made a great difference in the many lives through this program. Congratulations, Fuji. Next up is Books or Middle School with Monica Stoffel's uh, uh, principal, and our first student awardee is Cole McCulloch. <laughs> On top of his two years serving as ASB treasurer this year, Cole has done an exceptional ex done exceptional work as a web, every uh, where every bobcat belongs, leader taking extra time in this role to connect with and support sixth graders that are struggling socially. An exceptional leader, Cole McCulloch is an outstanding example of service and dedication at Bookser Middle School. Congratulations, Cole. Our next student, our next student awardee is Sydney Silva. Besides being an outstanding web uh, leader, Sydney has been the ASB graphic designer for the past two years. Sydney has used her graphic design skills and artistic talent to create dance tickets, t-shirts, and posters for school events. Sydney is a great example of a leader who uses her talents to serve others. Thank you for your contributions to the Bookser community. Congratulations. <laughs> And our adult award winner is Jeanette Wiederman. <laughs> Jeanette's name is synonymous with hard work and devotion to the community of Bookster School. When Jeanette saw empty planters in the bee quad, she went ahead and secured a grant to provide beautiful greenery and succulents. She has spent tireless hours leading the charge to beautify, whether it be fa facilitating students painting garbage cans, painting four square courts for games and play, painting kindness quotes around the campus. Jeanette Wiederman is promoting a message of global awareness and inclusion. She is truly valued by the Bookster School community. Congratulations. <laughs> Next up is Cabrillo School with uh, Principal Stan Garber. And our first student awardee is Gianna Islava. When asked to describe herself, Gianna said, I work hard, try my best, and I'm driven. And we agree. As president of the Cabrillo student body, Gianna has planned all of the school's rallies, dances, and fundraisers. She's super friendly and would never make an unkind comment about anyone. She wants to go to Santa Clara University, play soccer and basketball, and go into sports medicine. We have no doubt she can accomplish all those things. Congratulations. <laughs> Our next student awardee is Rishabh Gupta. Rishabh's father taught him to never take shortcuts, but do everything he can to succeed. If a teacher assigns a few problems to solve, Rishab solves all of them, and he likes to be of service to people. That's why he has so many friends and why he was elected vice president of the student body. Rishab enjoys sharing ideas at the superintendent council meetings. This I know. He planned the Friday night dance, spirit days, and lunchtime con contests. Rishab says that a leader knows when to talk and when to listen and he wants to grow up and be a software engineer. I'm sure he will. Congratulations. Good job. And our adult awardee could not be here tonight. Uh, that was Michael Goodson. Um, thank you. Our next school is Peterson Middle School and Principal Sue Harris. And our first student awardee is Rashida Kumar. <laughs> uh, 
from being that shy sixth grader three years ago to the confident and proactive young lady you see here today, Rashida has truly evolved into a mature and caring individual. She has served as the student rep on Peterson School Site Council for the past three years and is currently the elected secretary. She takes excellent notes and helps the council make decisions in the best interests of the students. In addition, Rashida has volunteered at the school's pirate camp, has been a leader in her orchestra class playing the cello, and has been on the volleyball team, all the while earning A's in her classes. Rashida has also volunteered after school to help tutor sixth grade cello players with Mr. Pickard. Congratulations, Rashida. Our next student awardee is Rohan Tawadi. <laughs> Rohan is his name as student, and student life is his game. Rohan co-leads the Performing Arts Club at Peterson, directing his first show ever, haphazardly ever after. Rohan is an active member of after-school clubs such as History Mysteries, Speech and Debate, Science, and much more but has truly helped this year with his generous commitment to the school's yearbook club. From taking pictures, creating schedules, attending events, coordinating interviews, Rohan has assisted the yearbook advisor, Mrs. Daniel Ash. He has been a daily help to her ever since he was in her sixth grade class. His creative influence and behind the scenes support has contributed to the success of each school event. Congratulations, Rohan. And our adult awardee is Chi Lin Kwan. <laughs> Chi Lin has been an active parent volunteer at Peterson for the past three years. Math, surprisingly, is a popular subject even after school gets out. And Ms. Kwan's, Kwan is one of the best parents to lead the Peterson Math Club. Each year, more than 35 students participate in the club, and she meets with them every Wednesday to practice their math problem-solving skills. Ms. Kwan also coordinates and attends math competitions, including the highly acclaimed AMC contest, where Peterson's mathletes have done exceptionally well. One of the best things Ms. Kwan has done is to try to allow as many students as possible push themselves academically. Congratulations, Stephen. <laughs> Our next school is Mission Early College High School and Principal Viola Smith. And our first student awardee is Amira Ismail. <laughs> Amira is currently serving as the Mission Early College High School student representative on the school site council. During her years with MEX, she has established herself as a responsible and dependable member of the student body. She is always willing to help support wherever it's needed, and she's committed to creating a positive environment for the whole Mex learning community. Thank you, Amira. Congratulations. <laughs> Our next uh, awardee is Jerry Young. Jerry currently serves as the Mission Early College High School student representative on the Santa Clara Unified School Board. During his years with MEX, Jerry has eagerly heeded the call to step up and help out wherever needed, including serving as the MC for the 2017 graduation celebration. He has shown himself to be a responsible student and positive role model for his fellow classmates. We're grateful for his service and his contributions. Congratulations, Jerry. <laughs> And our adult award winner is Isabel Bermudez. <laughs> Ms. Bermudez is currently serving as the president of the newly formed Mission Early College High School PTSA and is responsible for its formation. She has enthusiastically given her time and energy not only to Max but throughout the school district. She is committed to supporting SCUSD families and we're grateful for her partnership and dedication to the school. Ms. Bermunas is awesome. 
and we cannot thank her enough for all she does. Congratulations. <laughs> Next up is New Valley High School with uh, Principal Antonio Vela. And our first <laughs> student awardee is Alexa Sanchez Cruz. Hmm? Not here? I'm told that Alexa couldn't make it. Sorry. So our next student awardee is Giselle Mineros. Giselle has made an admirable turnaround in her academic performance. She previously struggled, and when she transferred, transitioned to New Valley, made gradual progress in a positive direction. This year, she is among two students who have maintained a 4.0 grade average for almost the entire school year. Now, Giselle is college bound. Congratulations, Giselle. Good job. Our next school, is Santa Clara High School. And Vice President Aaron Brown for Greg Shelby. Our first student awardee is Grace Wills. It's amazing when the high schools come up. Isn't it? Grace is a true leader on the SCHS campus. As ASB president, She's been the face of the student body in good times and hard times. She's led her class for years and was selected as homecoming queen and is a star on the track team. Both when we had a student pass and when the nationwide protests occurred and after uh, the incident in Parkland, and I can tell you that I was there and I saw what she did. Um, it was Grace who spearheaded the impactful student memorials that allowed students to share in their grief in safe ways. Santa Clara High School relies on Grace, and we're better for her being part of our campus, and that is the truth. Congratulations, Grace. Our next student awardee is Savannah Pombavong. Is this, is this American Idol? Am I not? <laughs> Savannah is an amazing leader on campus. In her role as president of the Black Student Union, she was the primary organizer for Black History Month presentations. As the school's spirit representative, she has made rallies both fun and inclusive, including pushing to have the academic rallies honor a wider array of academic achievements, such as scholar athletes, those succeeding in CTE classes, and many others. SCHS is a better place because of Savannah. Congratulations. <laughs> And our parent awardee is Anna Garcia. As PTSA president, Anna has deftly handled a group that plays a huge role on the Santa Clara High School campus. Helping the team organize parent education nights, staff luncheons, student outreach efforts, the Princess Project, scholarships, and many others, Anna is the person behind the scenes making sure that not only are the details done right, but that others are getting the credit. Thank you, Anna. Congratulations. Oh boy, I'm, I'm nervous about the next one. The next school is Wilcox High School. And Principal Kristen Gonzalez, and our first uh, student awardee is Brianna Thomas. <laughs> Brianna is a very involved student on the Wilcox campus. In her sophomore year, Brianna served as the activities commissioner for the sophomore class. She's been a member of the Associated Student Body Council for two years, serving as the spirit commissioner in her junior year, and as ASB vice president in her senior year. She is currently the co-president of the Touch of Aloha Club at Wilcox. For four years, Brianna has been a member of the cross-country team in the fall season and a member of the track and field team in the spring season. Brianna has completed over 500 hours of community service work. 
Congratulations, Brianna. <laughs> And our next awardee is Rafael Tolosa. <laughs> Rafael is a true leader on the Wilcox campus. He's been a member of the Associated Student Body Council for three years, serving as sophomore class president, ASB vice president in his junior year, and ASB president in his senior year. He has been very active in the Interact Club all four years and is currently the president of the club. Rafael has been a part of the athletic program at Wilcox, playing boys volleyball for four years. Rafael attends all the SCUSD board meetings as the Wilcox <coughs> student board representative, in addition to his school activities. And Rafael is confirmation team mentor at St. Lawrence Parish. Congratulations, Rafael. Thank you. Good job. Thank you. And the next awardee, adult awardee, is Suds Jane. <laughs> Suds has volunteered with Wilcox Robotics after school for four years, helping um, at least twice a week, sometimes more. He has provided tools, materials, and expertise on how to use those tools to team members. When something goes wrong with the robot team, the common phrase is, I, we should have listened to Suds. <laughs> he attends all the weekend tournaments has, and has even traveled to Spokane with the team, all at his, at his own expense. The Wilcox robotic team is indebted to him for his extensive help. And I personally want to say congratulations and thank you, Suds. Next up is Wilson School and Pam, Bel Pam Delano, Principal. And our first, our first student awardee is Abby Romero. Abby serves as the Spirit and Leadership Club Vice President, managing the club's monthly meetings. Abby is an active participant in the school events. She helped set up for the 2017 graduation dinner, the 2017 Halloween celebration, and the Spirit and Leadership Club 10-year anniversary celebration. She also participated in the 2018 ESC Bolathon and uh, fundraiser and was one of two Wilcox High School students, uh, Wilson High School students, chosen to speak to a panel of district employees. She openly shared her thoughts about Wilson and her school experience prior to Wilson. If you ask Abby to do something for Wilson, she does it with enthusiasm and you can count on her for follow through. Congratulations. Abby. Our next student awardee is Jacob Driscoll. <laughs> Jacob is a fine young man who wakes Wilson a better school and a better place to learn. Jacob is the Spirit and Leadership Club's public relations officer. He is always ready to lend a hand and has helped with running meetings, volunteering in the Parent Resource Center, and preparing for school-wide events such as the Halloween party or the first alumni reunion party. His outgoing personality invites all students to feel welcomed at school through thoughtful conversations and, interactives in, and interactions with everyone. Jacob is a student at the SVCTE, uh, Silicon Valley Career Technical Education, and was recently appointed their school ambassador for the sports medicine program. He is just an overall awesome young man. Congratulations. Thank you. And our adult awardee is Donna Chiramonte. <laughs> Donna has been a longtime supporter of Wilson High School and New Valley High School through her work with, on the Employer School Council. She is currently the president of the ESC and volunteers countless hours in supporting students. She volunteers for the twice yearly garage sales, the ESC Bowlathon, and the, spr the spring luncheon and interviewing students for ESC scholarships. She is student-centered and an advocate, and through her support, many scholarships are awarded to graduating students. Thank you, Donna, for all of your service. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much, Donna. And lastly, we have 
our adult education program and its uh, a, a director, Brenda Carrillo. And we have an award, uh, an adult award winner, Michael Papa. <laughs> Mike is an exceptionally talented, well-respected woodworker. He loves to share his knowledge with the students and colleagues alike, and he's tremendously a, a tremendously supportive aid for the Santa Clara Adult Education Woodworking classes. Always safety conscious, Mike ensures that students are working on the safest environment and practicing the required safety procedures. With his keen sense of awareness and creativity, he is able to devise additions to existing shop machines that make them easier and safer for people to use. Mike's encouraging, easygoing manner inspires students to seek his expertise in making the complexities of woodworking simple and accessible. And we congratulate you, Mike. Thank you. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes the program this evening. Um, I'd like to ask one last time all Public School Week Award recipients to stand as one group one final time and be applauded for their accomplishments. So would everybody who, everybody who won an award please stand.